To get started, let's walk through the user interface of Data Clarity Storyboards and learn the very basics. The first icon on the left sidebar opens the Storyboards pane. On the My Storyboards tab, I have the storyboard that I created earlier, plus some sample storyboards that I have installed. Notice the Shared With Me tab. Here, I can see all the storyboards shared by other Data Clarity users. If you have a long list of storyboards, you can quickly find a storyboard by name. You can create a new storyboard from scratch by clicking this button. To manage a storyboard, just point to More Actions. You can edit the storyboard, rename it, update the image used for the storyboard tile, and set the color to better organize your storyboards. You can embed the storyboard locally, share it with other users, and set specific permissions per user or group. You can even share it over the internet, outside of data clarity. You can also duplicate it or delete if no longer needed. You can mark it as a favorite. You can sort the storyboards by various properties. You can also choose to view the storyboards as a list. In list view, you can perform the same actions as in tile view mode. See the date when the storyboard was last updated. And here you have quick access to the list of users and groups with whom you shared your storyboard. Let's open the storyboard called Profitability. A storyboard is a collection of various visualizations, widgets, text, and other supporting content for your analysis, all grouped in pages. We are in view mode for this storyboard. To start modifying it, let's switch to edit mode. The toolbar allows you to quickly manage the storyboard. Undo and redo actions made to the storyboard, save the changes, and access widgets gallery. In the widgets pane that opens, all the visualizations are grouped by type, like column, line, and markers, area, and many more. Here you can find pictograms and other useful widgets. You can easily copy and paste widgets across pages, storyboards, and environments. Each page of a storyboard can be customized. Under Appearance, we can rename the page, define how the page navigation bar looks like, define background color and image. Depending on your needs, the layout size can be set to automatic, correspond to a standard format, or be completely customized. Each page has a certain layout type. Layouts are grouped by number of cells. Each cell is a container for a widget. This way, your widgets are organized and responsive when the browser screen size is changed. If you want to prepare data sets for your analysis, click Data Sets on the sidebar. Here you can prepare and manage all your data sets based on the data from various data sources including databases, spreadsheets, cubes, cloud applications, and much more. On the Data Connections pane, you can add and manage all your connections to servers and databases. And the AI Connections pane offers you a place to manage connections 
to external data science platforms if you plan to perform advanced analysis. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.